Greetings, dudes and dudettes, and welcome to a spooky new Let's Play by Lunar in the Box of Scooby-Doo Mystery Mayhem on the Game Boy. What is up, dudes? I am Lunar in the Box, and welcome to Let's Play Scooby-Doo Mystery Mayhem. This is another game that I grew up with, and it's, as you know, Scooby-Doo. Has to do with spooky, scary, and uh, otherwise out of place stuff. So I think, I think, I'm gonna do an LP on this game because it's almost Halloween. So I thought, hey, why the fuck not? Let's do a new game. The Haunting of Hagbridge. So, what's the story this time? My old neighborhood librarian, Mr. Dinsdale, has just been put up, put in charge of the Cambridge University Library. But it seems it's haunted by ghosts. He's asked for our help. Ghosts? Zoinks! The only way a ghost I want to see are invisible ones! A haunted house, a haunted library. Interesting. This first level's kind of slow. Velma Dinkley, you're late. And speaking of late, you still owe a two dollar late charge on the junior detective handbook. That was in fourth grade. Not amused. We'll settle this later, Miss Dinkley. Now, it seems you and your friends are quite good at dealing with ghouls and ghosts. We always get our monster. I guess not. Zoinks! There's so many of them! We don't stand a ghost of a chance! Real. Not to worry, Mr. Dinsdale. We'll take care of this. Absolutely. By the way, is anyone else in here? Only Walter Deadbody, my assistant. He's in charge of restoring old books. A pleasure to meet you all. Okay, gang, you know the drill. Let's split up and look for clues. Scooby, Shaggy, you start with the basement. And now we get into gameplay. We basically get to play as Scooby and Shaggy. That's, that's that uh, Scooby tag with the three in it is our life count. And we can't go this way. Like, we should probably do as Fred said and check out the basement. What do you think, Scoob? Yeah, let's go. To switch between Scooby and Shaggy, you press select. Pause as usual, you hit start. You can continue, open the episode files, which is basically open the uh, save, open the files and load the save. The options, the save, and the quit. I prefer playing as uh, Scooby, and I prefer playing as Shaggy over Scooby. To open the door, stand in front of it and press up. To change between Scooby and Shaggy, press select. Okay, when I press the spacebar, that happens. Um, the Z button for me is jump. The X button it is sneak. But I'm pretty sure like this is the Z. The Z button is the A button, and the B button is the X button. But you'll see what sneaking has to do with in just a moment. Or should I say right now? To enter an elevator, press up. Rook's broken. Yup. That, but that's okay. I've got an uncle who is an elevator repairman. With a wrench, I might be able to fix it. Convenient wrench is convenient. But this is where the sneaking comes in. See, as you can see, we have a ghost here. Raggy! Rook! A ghost! Zoinks! Like, what are we gonna do? Reek Bastion? Hey, that, like, that's a great idea, Scoop. Sneak past Ghost, hold the B button. Ghost will have a harder time spotting you. If you sneak in front of a column, you automatically have behind it. No ghost can find you there. Like, for, like this, the sneaking mechanic will come very handy in the game. And this is what it means. When you're behind, a, when you're behind one of these columns, the ghost cannot see you. If you 
start running while a ghost is around, it will wake up. I like to wait for the food just to get this way to start with. This is a Scooby Snack. A Scooby Snack is your health. You only get three hits in the game, and then you die. Hey, Scoob, look! Look at this! A Scooby Snack! Pick up Scooby Snacks, retort Shaggy and Scooby's courage when neither scared. Yes, courage is basically... Excuse me for a moment, guys. We get back. No big deal. Just, just a mild interrupt of stream by my mom. This is a... Platformer for the Game Boy. There was a GameCube version, which I didn't know about until recently, actually. Let's grab the wrench and then head our way back to the elevator. Ray! A wrench! Good job, pal! We can use this to fix the elevator! I can't do a shaggy. I'm sorry, I'll just use my normal voice. I'll try and do as good a shaggy impression as I can, but I'm not gonna try and do a voice. That ghost is still there, so don't forget to sneak past it. Thankfully, when you sneak, you don't move horribly slow, but you do move significantly slower. You see, if you're just standing still, see, I'm not... Even if you're just standing still, a ghost will attack you, but if you move even the slightest inch, you will die. And there we go! Okay, what now? Let's search the rest of the basement. Alright, let's see what we got. I believe there was another ghost around. It's been quite a while since I played this game, but I remember it's it was one of my favorites. Ooh! A new mechanic! Food! I will let the, the, I would like Shaggy and Scooby speak for themselves with this one. Trust me, it's one of my favorite mechanics in the game. And plus, it's helpful! Incredibly helpful! Delicious! Hey, Scoob, looks like we've got enough ingredients to make a delicious sandwich. Rummy, let's eat. Congratulations, you gained an extra try. Basically, that means I got an extra life. I went from, now I'm at four. I believe every world in this game, level world, I don't know, um, has a set of sandwich, a set of sandwich ingredients. That's, they're not as easy to find as that one is, trust me. They're a lot harder. Mechanic switches. Hey, like, what's this? I don't know. A switch. Maybe it triggers something. To activate a switch, press in front of it. Stand in front of it, press up. And then you want to. Oh, damn it. There's a key! We need that. Magical floating key of magical magic. We need. No! Fluff. Let's try that again. Again. Meep. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Got it. I win. Thankfully, you basically play as both Shoop, Scooby and Shaggy. So you don't have to worry about playing as both of them like you do when you're playing like the Mario and Luigi games. So don't worry about Scooby. If you're playing a Shaggy, don't worry about supposed Scooby and vice versa. I believe there's another ghost around here. This time I mean it. Ah, yep, there it is. Snake, 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 snake. We good! Let's do we snack. This is probably one of the. F I remember before I got this um, game, I was just learning to read, and I remember specifically asking my mom what that said. And it says, "Floating cameras are called checkpoints. If you lose a try, you restart the last checkpoint you passed. If you save a game, it saves your adventure up to the last checkpoint you passed." Trust me, this level isn't hard by any means. Anyway, I think. I call it here. We made some good progress. We got the red key and we just we made it all the way through the basement. Thank you so much, dudes and dudes, for watching. I've been Larry the Fox, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>